and welcome back to Black is Golden. Today I am back with a vlog. This is the birthday girl. So we're on the pier in Nevis and we're going to catch apple cider over to St. Kitts. So I'll see you guys when we get there. So we're in St. Kitts now. <laughs> Right now, Nyoga is signing us in for the blue water safari. <laughs> Excursion. At this time, we're just killing some time as we wait for the taxi to take us to Timothy Beach. And we also took the opportunity to change into our bathing suits. We have arrived at Timothy Beach, taking a little bit of the scenery, guys, as we have our little bay watch moment, so to speak. We are now getting ready to meet the Blue Water Safaris team. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Say good morning, Blue Water Safari. Good morning, Blue Water Safari. We are here. We are here. Okay. Most my crew members, so you know who they are right here. We have Omal behind him. Oh, give it up for Omal. Also, we have Dylan. Give it up for oh, Dylan. 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 Down there, we have Leslie making sure the boats are ready for you guys. Hey, Leslie. Leslie. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The last but not least, you guys can call me Toby. Hi, Toby. Hi, Toby. Hi, Toby. Okay guys, um, today we're going to be taking you guys in two and a half hours to the Southeast Peninsula. We have some bed taking views. Today guys, we're going to be looking for some wildlife today. Some monkeys or some goats. So if you bought your phones, your cameras, you want to get pictures today, we're going to allow you guys to get some pictures on the rail. We're going to also be taking a stop for snorkeling. We're going to stop for about 45 minutes. Yeah. Close to an hour. And then we're going to make our way back. So after we have some live jackets. We're gonna give you guys, get on, let's, let's do this thing. After the introduction, we basically took the time to try on our life jackets and we made sure they were fully functional, they were the right size for our body types. And now we are heading down onto the pier where we got a chance to find out how the speedboats operate and we chose our partners. I'm not gonna lie, it was very nerve wracking being on the pier and actually seeing them set up the boats for us to go on this water activity. It was very nerve wracking for us. <laughs>
we're almost at the location where we went snorkeling and the view of Nevis in the background is absolutely amazing. Okay, I probably look a bit out of it or high or whatever, but I went into the water and that didn't end well because something touched me. It touched me. And I had a bit of a panic attack. So I had to come back on the boat and sit and take some time to breathe off. I don't think I'm going back into the water. But as for as for the journey to get here and to start snorkeling, I had fun. So I guess I see you guys when we are heading back. Town and when we're having lunch, so see you guys when we are ready to get off this boat and get back onto land to have lunch. Bye! So, guys, we are back on land safely. <laughs> I almost died like you two times. I, I, I was the driver, well, I was the captain, but um. You know, they said try everything once. And you did it once. Yes, <laughs> I've tried it. Not to all my friends or family, if you want to do this again, don't include me. As we wrap up the day, we head to the food court on Port Zante and had lunch. We basically sat and spoke for a while while we wait on the boat to take us back to Nevis. After skipping along the coastline between dancing waves for hours and snorkeling, we were super tired. So we slept on the way back over to Nevis, which is why I look a bit sleepy in my outro. So guys, that is the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!